Let them know what's happening. What went down tonight? Absolutely, man. Uh, me and Marco 4D. My name is uh, Bowski. That's what. Uh, that's my producer tag. Um, we just made perfect picture. We've been making this the past like eight nine months out of my two seater 2010 Ultima Coupe. Made the entire album in there uh, with Chris. Shout out to the homie Chris, Chris Wick. Um, yeah, just released today. Had the listening party and dude, it's been a journey. It's been a journey for sure. Yeah, I can see a lot of a lot of good vibes, a lot of good things all around. Uh, what can we expect next following this album? Next, we're uh, we're gonna experiment, man. I mean, we're gonna experiment with sounds. The goat right here. <laughs> a little cameo there. <laughs> a little cameo, but no, we're gonna experiment with sound. Um, I mean, I guess I could say maybe in a boom bap way is kind of the the direction we're taking it in in terms of like technically. Um, but who knows where it goes with vibe wise? Uh, uh, with Perfect Picture, we kind of just took what we had in the moment, like what was going on in our lives individually, and kind of combined it into one project. So. Uh, for the next album, maybe maybe the same thing, maybe something different. We'll, we'll see, man. All right, we, I can we, dig we that. We started working on it. So. Oh, see, already dropping the one album, working on the next one. Yeah, way no, ahead of the game. Yeah, no, we're, all, we're always thinking forward, man. We're always thinking forward. Especially in Vegas, I feel like uh, the scene out here could be better. I, the scene is great, especially in terms of, like, actual live shows, bands, stuff like that. But with rap, I feel like rap could be way better out here. And uh, me and Marco are taking the first steps to get it there. What do you think, you know, it's an interesting point you bring that up. What do you think it would take to make the scene better in terms of rap? Hmm. Bro, that's a good question. I'm not going to lie. That's a good question. What could it take? Uh, definitely more studios. Vibe Studios. Shout out Vibe Studios. That's where we're uh, holding this listening party. One of the best studios in town, uh, besides maybe the hideout. Those are the, the top two I could think of. But, um, man, mo more artists, more shows. I, I feel like the local scene is, is filled with a lot of, um, people with a lot of money coming into Vegas trying to uh, capitalize on what Vegas is rather than the people that live here all the time. So the people that live here all the time, I feel like they're the ones that want something that they can go to every weekend or a show or an artist that they can relate to more so than these people that just come out to capitalize on all the Vegas, uh, the Vegas money. You know what I mean? So that's, that's kind of what we're trying to build. That's what I think could make it better is just more studios, more artists putting in quality work and quality time, um, trying to build up something real, trying to build a community. I can dig that. You know, having been in the scene for a little while, I've seen a lot of hungry people out here, a lot of talented artists. I think we just all come together and make something happen, and we can make the scene even better than what it is right now. Yeah, no, I, I, absolutely, man. And I, I think For the Culture uh, did that a lot, you know. Um, and there, there's been a, a handful of other promoters um, who have also contributed. But I feel like in terms of rap specifically, man, like I can't think of, of many other places. Like, can you name three places in Vegas locally sourced that through rap concerts or or even just rappers that have made it big time, like Baby Keem from out of Vegas. I can't name anyone else. You got me stuck, but I really can't. You know and, I, and I think that's the issue. We, we can do more to bring the scene up. That's what I'm saying, man. And we have a big culture out here. We have a, a, a lot of culture out here, a lot of people who grow up listening to a lot of music, wanting to be creatives, but it's like there's no place besides – even LVA. LVA isn't even a great place, I feel like, to – uh, uh, harvest your technical ability. I didn't go to LVA, but I know a lot of people who went there, and even the people who went there, I feel like that you know they're they're not making the type of money they want to make. They're not getting the types of jobs they want to have, and there's just not enough opportunity in terms of a uh, creative space in Vegas because everybody who comes here already has so much money. Bro. Absolutely true. You know, we got to come together, Vegas artists. Talented people, we gotta come to. We gotta make it happen. Absolutely. Throw some shows, collab, and it, it is not just a bunch of talk. That's really all what it. That's, that's what it takes to make it happen. Now, how are you feeling about this album that just dropped? How do you feel? How, how is? I'm sure there's a lot going through your mind right now. You made it happen. It's out there. It's live. Just dropped. Yeah, man. I, I mean, shit. It's um, it's crazy, man. I mean, uh, I've been producing that for like four years. Um, you know, I, I went to CSN for audio engineering for one semester before I quit. Shout out Inkwell, the uh, engineer here in Vegas at the Hideout. He uh, he taught me a lot that I know. Really, really started to get me to dig into this shit. So, um, yeah, shout out Inkwell. But um, 
do this album. It's it's been nothing but a journey. I, obviously, I don't think it's perfect, and I think there's a lot of room to grow. It's my first album, um, but I'm incredibly proud of me and Marco for being able to make this in my car a 2010 Ultima Coupe, um, which the AC broke at some points. So that shit was, dude, in the middle of Vegas summer. You know how that shit is, bro. <laughs> but uh, really proud, man. We made that shit with. It. You know, Scarlet 2i2, I know there's a lot of hate on that. It worked. It, we made a great album. And uh, I, I couldn't be more proud. And we just have great things to come, bro. Like, this is the first thing we made collectively. First first time I ever feel like uh, my skills are kind of honed a little bit. So, a lot of things. A lot of things coming, man. Yeah, a lot of good things. Now, um, earlier I interviewed Marco. And I asked him a very important question. Everybody wanted to know. Perhaps you can give me some more insight on this. Has Marco 4D ever been caught in 4K? Con 4K? What? No, never. <laughs> uh, not that I know of. What is Con 4K, man? <laughs> I don't know myself. I just I had to know. I had to know. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I remember I, he had a name before Marco 4D. But I don't think it was Con 4K. I, it's slipping me right now. I'm going to ask him later, actually. But, bro, that was a good question. I don't. Man, what the fuck is Con 4K, man? <laughs> It's a mystery upon myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, let, let the people know where can they find you? Where can they see what you're all about? Yeah, absolutely, man. So uh, obviously, Las Vegas, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of shit. Hopefully, here across the country soon. Um, you can find us on Spotify, Real Marco 4D. Or sorry, that's that's not his thing. It's just Marco 4D on Spotify, title, and, and all streaming platforms. Um, the album is called Perfect Picture. Here's Marco 4D coming in the room. But, yeah, listen to Perfect Picture, man. Stream that shit. I hope you all enjoy. Coming straight out of uh, uh, Las Vegas, uh, Prod Bowski, Marco 4D, and Chris Wick. Just the beginning, man. Thank you for having me. Of course, Aguilera Shop is live here with Bowsy. We out. Take it easy, y'all. Take it easy.